Hey fellow adventurers, I've been experimenting with different spirit combinations to see if I should find any infinite recovery exploits, which is when you gain infinite height using certain moves after pairing them with certain custom attributes. Unfortunately, I was only able to find one character and spirit team combination that allows for infinite recovery in a normal smash battle. Of course, there are quite a few other characters that can jump infinitely as long as they're in a special light battle. The attribute that makes this possible for most of the characters is the floaty jump. The best spirit combination includes the Teen Boo primary spirit and three other floaty support spirits. The only support spirits that give you floaty jumps are Perry, Kachu, Bronto Burt, and Winged Pitman. They're all novices, so obtaining them shouldn't be a problem, but you will want to get at least three of them. The first two fighters that can pull off the trick are Pikachu and Pichu, with their down specials. Even though Pikachu goes up a little slower than Pichu, he doesn't take any damage from the lightning, which means his damage will cap out at 150. I will say, however, that Pichu's war cry is a lot more prominent than Pikachu's, which is great for annoying people. Also, how can anyone say no to Pichu? If you don't want to be stuck up at the top of the screen for the whole battle while waiting for all the other players to fight it out, then you can always chill underneath the stage where your lightning bolts can hit the players on top of the stage. You could even dare some of them to challenge you right before they inevitably get stage spiked. Unless you have items on. Next up we have Rob with his down air. He gains height more quickly than either of the previous Thunderpates, but doesn't cover as much area with his attacks. Fortunately, his down air can spike opponents, which makes it great for edge guarding. Greninja is up next to steal the spotlight and gains height nearly twice as fast as Mr. Robotic Operating Buddy. However, because Greninja uses his side special to elevate, you have to switch directions every once in a while to prevent going past the left and right blast zones. At this point, you may have noticed that all of the exploits so far were possible in Smash Bros for Wii U. That's true, and it's also about the extent of this infinite recovery endeavor. But there is a certain anthropomorphic crocodile who's decided to join the fun. And fun he's going to have, which is evident by the way he laughs every time he bounces. King K. Rule is a surprisingly efficient flyer, and almost beats Greninja in terms of speed. His technique also makes the most sense. You know, him using his up air and all. Here's a quick comparison of the five contestants in terms of elevation speed. The last character has a technique that's not easy to pull off, but it's also the only one that works in normal Smash. As you know, Mega Man takes advantage of good old Rush to get him back on stage. What's special about Rush is that he can be jumped on multiple times, even if he's used in the air. The problem, however, is getting Mega Man back down to Rush after he gains that initial height. Of all the spirit capabilities, there's only one that can get us to fall fast enough, and that's Instadrop. Instadrop will work even if it's used by itself, but it can be really hard to gain any height. The secret is to not press down until right after Mega Man has finished flipping around. This is the soonest that fast falling is possible, and spamming down to maximize efficiency never seemed to work for me. To make life easier, I'd recommend using a primary spirit that increases your jump height, or gives you an extra jump. I prefer the extra jump because it gives me more mobility, especially when I want to move left and right. This infinite jump is really risky, especially at the start. You can always start off on the stage to give you that initial height boost, but if you mess up at any point over the edge, you're probably a goner. This can happen if you move left or right after using Rush, or if your timing is delayed by a couple seconds, which causes Rush to disappear before you can catch up to him. A slip up like this will result in Mega Man meteoring himself into the blast zone, unless you decide to fly over the stage. The biggest reason that there are only 6 characters that can gain height indefinitely is the fact that custom moves don't exist in the game. Well, except for the Mii Fighters. Oh wait, I knew I was forgetting someone. The Mii Sword Fighter is also capable of gaining height with his third neutral special, Blurring Blade. He also happens to gain height faster than anyone else. Well, that's pretty much it for this video. I'm pretty sure I covered all the bases for this glitch, especially since custom moves were taken out. There were also a couple of close calls, like with Snake's down air, but they just didn't cut it. I did also find some funny side effects with characters being really light, such as the Ice Timers having an insane recovery. It's not infinite, but at least you're not going to get edge guarded anytime soon. If you find any crazy spirit combinations that allow other fighters to go up indefinitely, then be sure to leave it in a comment below and I'll check it out. Oh, I should also mention that I'm initiating my first t-shirt campaign. If you've always wanted to don yourself with some Fez garnished ET object, then be sure to grab your attire before it's too late. You'll find the link to the campaign in the description. With that, thanks for watching! If you like glitches as much as me, then be sure to subscribe. Also, I would like to say a word for Gomez, who's no longer with us. Gomez was a good fish. He swam upside down a lot, but he was good. 
All right, I'm done.